It was the night before Christmas, and all through the YouTube house, not a creature was stirring, not even Thrill Mouse. Hi, season's greetings. I hope you're all well and happy and excited and ready for Christmas. So it's Christmas Eve and all the preparations are pretty much done now. Just the last few little finishing touches. And so I wanted to take a minute to show everyone some of the lights that we have around Hoik and to show off Ripley in our festive finery with her new outfit for the Christmas season. So this is actually my first night ride on the Rycar. So I decided to take a little run around town to show you some of the Christmas lights and um, to go out to one of the houses just outside of town which has got some rather nice Christmas lights in their garden and that's down at the Hornshole Bridge um, where the Battle of Hornshole happened which I mentioned quite a lot. So you'll notice that my audio is different this week, especially given that there's no in helmet audio this time, I'm actually doing a voiceover with backing music. And that's because when I went out, I forgot to plug the mic in, which was good. And also while I was out, it was so cold that the camera started glitching, so I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked because most of it came out in black and white with a ghost image over it but anyway this is uh, Hoik High Street uh, looking rather splendid so the temperature while I was out was hovering around 0 degrees Celsius about 32 Fahrenheit and I, in my wisdom, had decided to just wear my armoured hoodie because I haven't worn it yet and my new 100% gloves and I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that the hoodie kept me surprisingly warm. I was about out for about an hour and it was only in the last 15 minutes that I started to feel any cold at all which is pretty good considering that none of that kit is, is winter gear. Here's Ripley in her Christmas splendor, complete with uh, fairy lights, a Christmas tree on the max mount, and a very special Christmas hat.
Most people's Christmas decorations in the UK are generally indoors. There are a few exceptions. Some houses um, decorate their gardens and things. So we're going to go see one of them. Someone got over excited there. We're on the balcony. We're going to go see one of them down at the Hornshole Bridge. Um, the guy does a really nice light show every year. So I thought we'd head down there. So it's been a hell of a year we've had to put up with this year. I've never known anything like it in my life. And I think a lot of us will be glad to see the back of 2020. But we're still struggling through it. But I'm sure we'll get there. So with that in mind, I would like to especially wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous new year this year because I think everyone deserves it you know to all the friends I've made here all the other podcasters um, all my friends out there on three wheels and on two all my subscribers you're all amazing um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that now, by the way. Merry Christmas. Um, so, yeah, you're all amazing. And I can't thank you enough. You've helped me get through what has been a horrific year. And hopefully, in some small way, I've helped you. So, I'm going to go now. And I'll just leave you with the, the last bit of the run here. By the way, I have to say, as we go out into the dark, the Riker lights are pretty good. So this is us going over Hornsole Bridge. I'll let you enjoy that and the rest of the ride. Merry Christmas and a very happy and prosperous New Year. See you next time. Slanjivah. <laughs>